not terribly accurate. This is your love reading for single Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Personally, I think your moon sign is going to re resonate the best. So um, if you don't know your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below if you want to find that out. Um, you could also be watching this if you're spying on a Sagittarius as well. Maybe you're interested in one. Maybe one is your ex, something like that. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So this is for October 10th through November 10th. Okay, so how are you seeing yourself this month? in regards to love. And it's like you're super focused on what's right in front of you. So maybe you have some your eye on somebody and you're like, okay, now's my chance. Like things um, like luck is turning in my favor in regards to love and I'm ready to go out there and find it. So even if you don't have someone specific in mind, you're just like, okay, I can do this. I can go out and I can find it this month. How are others seeing you in regards to love? So they're like, okay, Sagittarius is definitely single, um, but I like them. I like all of their fire sign qualities. Um, they seem to be happy. They're smart. Like they think before they speak, which is awesome. And they don't seem like the kind of person who's going to hurt me. Like the fact that um, you're coming off with like this single kind of energy is actually super appealing, especially to people who have maybe been attracting um, married guys, for example, or um, been in relationships where they've been cheated on and that kind of a thing, like love triangles they don't feel like they're going to get that with you. And so that's a really, really good thing. Um, what should you be avoiding this month in regards to love? Now, um, this is interesting. They're saying that you shouldn't take on lots of lovers <laughs> this month just because it's not fair to you. Not because it's fair, not fair to other people. Like if you're open and you're honest about it and you're like, Hey, I'm dating a few people right now, but they're like to you, it's not fair because you're not allowing yourself the time to feel like emotionally attached to someone. And that's really what you are um, striving for, what your energy is asking you to find or go out and seek this month, like to make deep emotional connections as opposed to um, love them and leave them kinds of things. So uh, what is it that you should be doing in order to grow or increase or attract the likelihood of a forever kind of person coming into your life this month? And what they're saying is, um, oh, this is so interesting. With, <laughs> so they want to go back to that thing that I was talking about, um, avoiding, you know, avoid just kind of like living in the moment and going with the flow with multiple people. Um, they want to talk about that again because they're like, look, you're lying to yourself if you think this isn't hurting you. Um, you're being unfair to yourself. Like, just don't do it. And it's not about not doing it for the sake of other people. It's about not doing it for the sake of you. Um, they're like, you really got to go within and figure out what it is that you desire, what it is that you want, instead of kind of distracting yourself with, you know, little uh, people here, people there, whatever. They say that this is a decision that's hard to make for you perhaps this month because you um, there's certain things about that kind of a lifestyle that is really fun. You know, it's sexy, it's exciting, and they're like, you know, maybe you're afraid of being entirely alone. Maybe you feel like you need this attention. They're like, but that's actually not the case. So, um, some, somebody watching this might be a sex addict actually. So just be cautious of that. The, that's really a point that they want to hammer home for Sagittarius this month. Um, what is working for you this month? And they say your very fire sign qualities, your happiness, your strength, your tact, your sense of control, or at least how other people perceive it. And, um, the fact that you can defend yourself, you know, you're, you kind of are coming off like a Leo, like um, very fun loving and stuff like that. I mean, you're related, you're fire signs both, but, um, and with all this wand energy, it's very fire. So it's very passionate, it's very exciting. But also, you know, like a lion is so beautiful and regal and um, it's king of the jungle. So people are attracted to it. But then if you get too close and you piss it off, like, you know, the mouse could be like walking over its foot and it can tolerate it and it's okay. And then all of a sudden you just like get it and tear it apart. And they're like, well, that's not crazy. Does that make sense? I feel like the message that I'm trying to convey is not coming out very clearly. <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is like not in a crazy way. It's just like everybody looks at you like you're like you've got your shit together. 
but at the same time, you're really sexy and you're in control and you're powerful, but not in like an arrogant, gross kind of way, okay? Um, what's working against you this month? What's working against you this month is that, um, is, okay, so that you're not taking the time to reflect is the one thing, but that also you're perhaps going to extreme to like dip your dick in something that's not your soulmate. Does that make sense? Um, and it could even be a figurative one if you're a female. That's my point, is that we've gotta be we've gotta be really careful with our sexuality this month. There's just some universal force here for Sagittarians <laughs> saying um, try to guard it, okay? Unless you're feeling like a deep emotional connection. That's so interesting because I feel like other signs didn't have that at all. It's very Sagittarius exclusive. Like other ones were like, yeah, go out there and um, have a great time with everyone. But yours is entirely different. So um, what is the lesson that we are overcoming this month? And we've got abundance. It says, I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever it is that I desire into physical reality. And so this is something that we're trying to teach ourselves. And that's why it's so important to go within and take that time away from all of these partners and only being with someone if it feels like exactly what we've asked the universe for, like the things that we've wanted. We want to create deep emotional bonds and attachments um, for like the longer term. Does that make sense? And they're like, you might not believe that you can actually have it, which is why you're like a little bit over here, a little over there, trying all these people out. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that this month is not the best month for you to do that because this is a really powerful month for you to draw in exactly what you want instead of, you know, there's a person over here with this quality that I like and one over here with this quality that I like and one over here with this quality that I like because they're not all going to like magically meld into one person. Like just find the one person that encompasses all those things is basically what I'm saying here. So what is the overall outcome in regards to love for this month for Sagittarius? And they're like, here's the deal. You can find your forever person this month if you're to follow the guidance. It's very possible. The person that you'll grow old with, that you'll retire with, like all of these wonderful things like you'll grow old together and look back on your lives together and you'll be like comfortable and stable and it'll be beautiful. But they're like, that's only if you do that work though. You try to manifest it. Um, because they're like, if you don't manifest it, then it's not coming for you. Like if you want to just keep trying this, trying that, trying that this month, then you're just going to be doing that for a while. Okay. So ultimately the choice is yours. Now, what does your Halloween look like just for fun? They're like, um, well, for most of you, you probably will not have attracted that person by then. So it might be coming in the beginning of November, but it is coming for those of you who do do the work to bring in what it is that you like, like specifically, you know, to almost save yourself this month for that right person. So love and light, and I'll see you again in November. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.